This is a motion problem that references constant accelerations, which means we're allowed to use our three kinematics equations for constant acceleration to solve this problem. We're looking to find the acceleration, and the givens that the problem gives us are the, the distance of the launch, uh, I'm going to the launch for part A, uh, it gives us the final speed that the spore reaches, and we technically also have the initial speed of the spore as well, because even though the problem doesn't explicitly state what it is, we can figure out from the context of the problem that it's going to be zero, since the problem's talking about a situation in which the spore is launched up into the air from a state of rest. So, our three givens are v for velocity, v naught for initial velocity, and displacement, delta x. The only one of the kinematics equations that has all three of these variables is the third one, so we'll go with that. It also doesn't have, it also is the only equation that doesn't have the time variable, which has nothing to do with this problem. We want to take this equation and solve it for a so we can get the acceleration, so we want to get a on its own. The first thing I'll do is subtract uh, v naught squared from both sides of the equation to get the term containing the a on its own. Next, to get the a itself on its own, I'll divide both sides of this equation by 2 times delta x. So this is the equation that we'll end up with. This equation will give us the acceleration, so now we just need to plug in our values that are given to us by the problem. We'll use 1.6 meters per second for v, 0 for v naught squared, so this v naught squared might as well just disappear completely, since there is no initial speed, and we'll use 5 microns, or micrometers, for the change in position. Though, in order to keep our units consistent, we'll want to convert this into meters. So in your calculators, be sure to type in something like 5 times 10 to the negative 6 power instead. Doing all this correctly, we end up with an acceleration of about 2.56 times 10 to the 5th power in meters per second squared. Note, however, there is a bit of a nuance to the answer here, since the problem mentions that we want to find the accelerations in terms of g. This means that we want the accelerations to be written as a multiple of g. And since g is equal to about 9.81, we can find this by just taking the answer we just got and dividing it by 9.81. So if you take 2.56 times 10 to the 5th power, and divide it by 9.81, we find a we find an acceleration of about 2.6 times 10 to the fourth power. So that multiplied by g is the acceleration that the problem is looking for in part a. Part b is pretty easy because it's basically the exact same process as part a, and we've already done most of the work for that. We'll take this same formula except now we're looking at a case where the spore is slowing down from an initial speed now of 1.6 meters per second to a final speed of zero. This means that zero will be used in place of v, and this time it's the v naught term that will be replaced with 1.6 meters per second. The other thing that changes is delta x, the change in position, since the problem says that it's reduced to zero in 1.0 millimeters in the air. Once again, to keep our units consistent, we'll write this in terms of meters. So to convert from one, from one meter, millimeter to meters, we would write 1.0 times 10 to the negative third power of meters. If we do that, then our calculator will give us negative 1.8 times 10 to the third power of meters per second squared. Note that the reason why it's negative is because this is negative acceleration since the spore is slowing down rather than speeding up. Or perhaps more accurately, it's accelerating in the direction opposite to the acceleration in part A. Once again, we want to divide this by 9.81 to get the acceleration in terms of g, just like in part A. So dividing it by 9.81, we find acceleration of negative 1.3 times 10 to the second power of g. This is our acceleration for part b. 
I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out. If you'd like a, a more detailed exchange, or if you have requests for future content, uh, I've got a Discord server linked in the description below if you'd like to reach out to me, and I'll hopefully be able to help you out there. So thank you for watching, and have a good night, or day, whatever time it is where you are. Bye-bye.